I guess this is just another vegan detox story, and despite being consistently presented with contradictory evidence, vegans will literally take their beliefs to the grave, unfortunately in this case, pushing their beliefs on a hopeless victim. This poor child suffered an unimaginable life at the hands of two low IQ psychopaths that were sucked into the cult of veganism. If you guys could please share this video and spread the word, these stories tend to go under the radar. Have to make sure the CEOs of Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods get to live in the Maldives all year. The only reason to go vegan is if you are a cute, cuddly animal lover and want to cause suffering to the human race because pigs make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. A vegan diet is not better for your health, it is not better for the environment, and vegans killing trillions of insects and small rodents is okay as long as a furry animal with big eyes doesn't die. Some vegans might say this is an example of bad parenting, but two wrongs don't make a right. Abusing a child because you're a horrible person versus starving a child to death because you believe so strongly in a vegan diet are two things that shouldn't be happening. That's basically saying it's okay to damage and maim children as other people are doing the same, acting as if the vegan diet isn't enabling this person and furthering their mental illness. The couple was charged with aggravated manslaughter due to neglect and child neglect. The 18-month-old son weighed as much as the average 7-month-old. Having never seen a doctor in his life, he was born at home, living on a strict diet of raw fruits, vegetables, and breast milk. In the affidavit, police said there were three other children, two which were extremely small, pale, yellowish in color, a very poor state of health. One of them had blackened teeth from dental decay, but a third child appeared healthier, likely because she stayed with her biological father every two months. The mother claimed the child didn't have anything other than breast milk for the week leading up to his death. Most indigenous groups actually breastfed for two to five years, but their milk was actually nutritious because they had a plethora of animal foods present in their diet. She was breastfeeding her son when he began to have shallow breathing, but didn't call for help because she fell asleep. After the mother woke up, the child wasn't breathing and cold. The death was caused by complications of malnutrition, including dehydration, liver problems, the swelling of his hands, feet, and lower legs. This sounds like high homocysteine levels in the blood, which is caused due to a lack of B12, a lack of methylation. Uh, you guys can check out the various videos I did on why a vegan diet will give you a stroke. This sounds like the mechanism of what was actually going on. Uh, one thing to note here is that the older children were, you know, still breathing. Uh, this is because the mother likely had vitamin stores from her past animal food consumption that were transferred to those children during the pregnancy, during the breastfeeding. Eventually, after being vegan for a period of time, those nutrients become drained, and this is where starvation and infertility occurs. This is why we see some people you know, able to have multiple kids, super healthy, and some people aren't. It correlates directly to the amount of animal foods present in the human diet. You know, if animal foods are present, nature is giving us what we need to reproduce. If animal foods aren't present, it's a way of nature telling us, no, not time to reproduce, and you're in survival mode. Adults are suited to handle periods of starvation for months, even years, in dire circumstances. Not so much children. It's why in tribes, adults would either eat less themselves to nurse the children, uh, pregnant women, nursing women, or they would choose not to have children in the bad seasons. Uh, but hold on a second. The American Dietetic Association said it's okay to be vegan. It is the position of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics that appropriately planned vegetarian, including vegan, diets are helpful, nutritionally adequate, and may provide health benefits for the prevention and treatment of certain diseases. These diets are appropriate for all stages of the life cycle, including pregnancy, lactation, infancy, childhood, adolescence, 
older adulthood, and for athletes. Of course they mention the environment in a nutritional epidemiological study. Wouldn't that be a conflict of interest? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I get it. Uh, the child died because he just wasn't doing the vegan diet properly. Uh, I guess he forgot to take his vitamin B12 supplement. This study is from early 2016, the previous version being from 2009, the main difference being that in the 2009 study, they didn't specify that a vegan diet was adequate, only vegetarian. Now, in 2016, vegan is suddenly okay. I guess the same person on both studies, Craig WJ, had a change of heart. But who is Winston J. Craig? He is a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, essentially a cult that pushes a plant-based diet. The influence of the Seventh-day Adventist Church is present in the American Dietetics Association, the American Heart Association, and they've been behind many propaganda media blitzes, such as the one on eggs and cholesterol earlier this year. Uh, so the Seventh-day Adventists have been pushing vegan propaganda nonsense for years, now, the globalist plant-based agenda is becoming more and more apparent. This vegan programming is very dangerous. Regardless of whether or not it is being used to intentionally harm the populace, it is certainly profitable. And big agriculture knows they can repackage the refined processed junk foods that they've poisoned America with into healthy, vegan, plant-based alternatives. And don't be tricked just because someone is keto, just because someone is carnivore, especially if someone is a doctor. If someone has the letters MD in their names and they're trying to influence people on a large scale in social media, I hate to break it to you, but they have special interest funding. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, definitely hit that bell icon. As I mentioned earlier, please share the video. If you guys do want to support me further, check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, bringing you high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day.